Hey everyone, my name is Sam and thanks for checking out this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell notification, and if you get to the end and enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up. So this is another really good week of reading for me. I read tons of books that I really enjoyed. Uh, I read a total of five books and one of them was literally one of my favorite books that I've read of the year. This always happens right after I like say these are my favorite books of the year and then December happens and I read like five amazing books. I'm like, what? Why? Did I wait so long to read you? But I want to tell you about those books. So the first book that I read and absolutely adored, it's one, it is like literally one of my favorites of this year is The Rook by Dan O'Malley. I also just found out yesterday, literally on Saturday, it's being made into a TV show by Stars. It's supposed to come out in 2019. I heard Stars and lost my mind. Those are the people giving me Outlander, like, and doing a good job of it. So I'm very curious to see where that goes. I also bought the uh, the sequel, Stiletto, on Book Outlet, so I'm very excited for my copy of that to show up. Just like, it's, l I'm, it's oh my god, it's good. <laughs> I, I don't understand how I'd never heard of this book until like three weeks ago. It's so freaking good. So it starts out, literally, our main character wakes up, like, bruised and battered, surrounded by all of these, like, weird paranormally with, like, plastic gloves on, and she's in the middle of a park, and they're all dead, and she wakes up with her memory completely wiped. And then she keeps finding letters that she wrote to herself before this event, saying, this is who you are, this is the basics you need to know, this is, you know, where you work, and she turns out to work for, like, a paranormal agency branch of the British government, and she works... Well, it's not really technically, I think it, no, maybe it is technically the British government. It's a secrety branch. And they deal with all the paranormal goings on. And so it's kind of like a combination of like supernatural with like, I don't know if like 007, but like secret branch government aspect kind of worked in. And our main character this whole time is trying to figure out who set her up to have her memory wiped, which is the event at the very beginning of the book and she knows that it was because of the letters that she left herself she knows that it was someone within her organization that's supposed to be on her side so someone's doing something that they shouldn't and we go on a couple misadventures where paranormal activities happen so you see what her role is we see kind of what her powers are and also find out more about her growing up the government found out that she had the ability and that's why there were plastic gloves involved i i like i think that's literally all i can say without spoiling it it just read it. It's so good. Like it's got like some paranormal and like most, but not all paranormal and like urban and like kind of, it's just, you're, you literally don't understand what's going on for most of it, but it's so enjoyable. And I'm so freaking excited to see what they're going to do to a TV show. I'm sure they could like really like ham it up with some very weird paranormal -y sort of stuff if they're going to make it into a bigger show. And I'm very excited to read Stiletto, like beyond comprehension. So five out of five stars, one of the best books that I read this year, and I'll probably put it on my 2019 favorite reads thing. So highly, highly, highly recommend this book. Then on Christmas Day, I did a reread of A Curious Beginning by Deanna Reborn. Yes, I read this two weeks ago. I wanted to reread it. I love this book. I read it last year on Christmas or Christmas Eve or Boxing Day. One of those days, and I absolutely love this series, so I don't need to go into, like, detail. I love the Veronica Speedball series, like, to death, and I'm so excited for A Dangerous Collaboration to come out, and I love Veronica and Stoker, and Super Under Hype series, 5 out of 5 stars. I also picked up A Sorrow, Fierce, and Falling, so I finished the Kingdom on Fire trilogy. I didn't think I was going to get that done this year, to be honest. So this follows Henrietta after all of the chaos that left <laughs> at the end of A Poison, Dark, and Drowning. So we are still in England. We are still dealing with the evil ghost shadow attacking the human world in order to access the magicians and the sorcerers and the sorcerers and the magicians, and everyone is still all infighting until Henrietta's kind of whole role in this book is to try and get them to stop infighting and realize that they're being divided and by doing so they're letting these evil shadow people win and then there's always like this book is kind of heavy on the romance but I, I don't seem to hate it for some reason I'm not totally sure what the reason is but we see more of book one is a lot more of like her being introduced to this world and her childhood love and then book two is being kind of this situation with the childhood love and then one of her kind of co-sorcerers and then this book is i don't want to say but it's <laughs> it's a whole other thing um but i actually didn't mind how it ended i like there's you know you get to the end like 
I, I can also appreciate the fact that this author wasn't afraid. Like, and I think this is kind of what I was expecting more from Kingdom of Ash of like, it's not a pretty ending. It's not all clean. You don't all get to live in this happily ever after utopia to pick up the pieces. Not everyone's going to make it. And this book, I think, did a, a really good job of being a bit more realistic about that in this situation. I just like that we find out an awful lot of the background story of everyone that led up to this and how it influences them directly at this the point in time of we have to fight the shadows or we're going to be wiped out sort of situation. So I really like that. I feel like this series is just really generally underhyped and I'm really happy that with how it ended. I thought it was kind of a sweet ending. I kind of foresaw one of the events happening just how because of the thing that led up to it, how it was being talked about at the beginning. So I was like, oh, I wonder if, and then got to the end. I was like, I was right. <laughs> so other than that, I really, really enjoyed it. So I think I gave it four or five, four or five out of five stars. And I think my only thing at some points, I just felt like it was kind of lagging or I was kind of like, can't we be just done with this person? Like, I don't feel like it's doing this conflict as any character development. I feel like it's just more character assassination sort of situation. I'm like, you're not making me want to do anything involved with this person. I also picked up Pages and Co. Tilly and the Book Wanders by Anna James. I read this book in like three hours, so <laughs> I should tell you, I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> so this is a middle grade book, which like, look at this cover and like, look at the end pages and the under dust jacket. And there's these like really cute, um, just like magical, like stars and dust spots. And there's some illustrations throughout this book seriously has had like zero talk about it i just randomly found it on book goodreads one day and was like oh that sounds cool oh that's what it looks like cool i want it and <laughs> adding it to middle grade collection so this follows our main story of tilly or matilda and she lives with her grandparents because she doesn't know who her father was the parents have been pretty mum on him and her mother went missing a little bit when right after she was born she remembers little bits and pieces but not much so she depends on her grandparents for all the information about that and her grandparents own a bookshop in the london area and then she meets friends with a local boy after kind of she's at that age in school where like you know people start developing separate interests and then they decide that they can't be friends because they don't have identical interests sort of thing but she makes friends with a local boy who has dyslexia and she wants to kind of bring him into the book world. He loves reading, but obviously he has a bit of a hard time. And then chaos happens and it really does focus around this really cool magic element. There's the secret library, which I wish I could work at a secret library. And it's really, really heavily focused on her relationship with her mother that she desperately, so, so desperately wants. And she wants to know more than anything, just like wh why she left. She wants to know if she did it voluntarily, if she did it wrong. And then we get involved with Anne of Green Gables, Sherlock Holmes, and Alice in Wonderland, uh, among a couple others. And it's just really, really fun and whimsical and adorable. And the the I the I actually the ending as a twenty six year old person, I can say the ending took me for a loop. I was not expecting that ending. I mean, there's kind of like a villainy character, but I was not expecting where they went with him, and they went there. So I'm really hoping. I must, they left it open to do a sequel. I haven't seen any information on if there will be a sequel. I hope there is. I hope it's just as beautifully designed. But the main character, Tilly, is absolutely adorable. She's so strong and smart and go get him and adventurous and curious and just wants to... She doesn't... Yeah, there's the rules. and then. But I want to go look at this and I want to figure this out and I want to know why. And I like when we have characters, especially female characters, like, yeah, I, like support this girl being curious and figure things out and like looking up and researching and educating herself. So I love that. And then she's got this like awesome little sidekick guy. I loved it. It was so fun. I, I think I give this one a five out of five stars. There's literally nothing I disliked about this book. It's so cute and compact and the characters are adorable and the setting's fun and the magic is cool. I would very highly recommend it. And then lastly, I did a reread of The Iron Flower by Laurie Forrest. This is another one that I've read. Uh, at least once this year, so I'm not going to get into too much details. But it's book two of the Black Witch series, and it follows on this rebellion in this world. So at the end of book one, basically, the government has basically fallen to this dictator guy, and he's starting to pit minorities and all the different fractor fractors? No. All the different sectors of society against each other, and he's promoting abuse and violence and just goes absolutely off the deep end on this one. And we find out more about Sage Gaffney a little bit. We find out more about all of these different kind of outsiders of this society that are not basically mass majority. They're not Gardnerians. They're not 
under this Gardnerian racial and religious umbrella. They are their own people. And they, there's almost like a Wonder Woman-esque sort of situation on their own isle is, island kind of area. I just really like to get into, like, visit all these places. And the Rebellion is just, like, gung-ho. Like, they're figuring things out. They are splintered within themselves. But Elle, Elle just, like, grows so much in this book. Like, and her her family especially her aunt is like a psycho but i like that they finally take a stand against their her aunt in this one she finally starts breaking out from being kind of under this suppressed suppressed umbrella of i am supposed to be a pure gardenerian and follow this strict religion that is super sexist and controlling and pressing me down to be lesser than in this world and it's it's just really really cool and we get to know much more about the different species and hybrids and combinations in this world and the magic that comes from them. It's just so cool. So once again, five out of five stars. Love this. I'm so excited for book three. I think it's called the Shadow Dry unless I saw. I need it soon. We don't even have a date. I don't even think there's a year yet, but I just need it. I need it really bad, Lori Forrest. Very highly recommend the series if you haven't already figured that out. So those are all the books that I read this week. Let me know in the comment section down below if you read any of these books or what you thought of them. I would love to know. Make sure to check the description box down below. I will link all of these books to their Goodreads pages and I will also link all of my social media. And lastly, make sure to have a happy new year and be safe and I will talk to you all in the new year.